I decided to make a dress. Woo! Okay, sorry, that was a really nondescript description of what I'm gonna do. But basically, I'm gonna make a dress. Oh. Again, I'm gonna make a dress. What is this? Me. I'm gonna make a dress. You're gonna love it. I'm gonna love it. We're gonna love it We're gonna join hands and dance around in circles and be really happy and kumbaya because this dress It's gonna be fantastic. I can already feel it now You may tell me that this is completely fake and that I've already made the dress and that I already know how it's gonna turn out And that's why I'm filming this now to which I say Woo! So I'm gonna make this dress I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna sew it, I'm gonna put it together from scratch. This is gonna be a self-drafted pattern because I don't know how to make dresses yeah. and I've never seen a dress pattern quite like this one. I'm also going to try to do piping for the first time in my entire life and for some reason I've decided to try with satin as my first ever attempt. I've never sewed with satin before. Sewn? Sewed? Sewn? I've never used satin in a project before. This is my first time ever using it. I haven't even looked up any tutorials before starting this and I'm not gonna because you know what? I like winging things and seeing how they come together. I like learning from my mistakes because that helps me remember them better. You know, if you royally fuck something up, you're gonna remember it better than if you just watched a YouTube tutorial about doing it the right way in the first place. This location's getting boring. Let me try another one. So yeah, sewing. Woo, this is gonna be so great. I think I hate satin already, even though I've never sewed it before, but I don't like the feeling of it. So I don't really know why I'm doing this project, but you know what? It's gonna get done. This project's gonna get dead. I'm gonna make this dress. I'm gonna make it. It might not look great, but you know what? gonna get done. I think that's all I had to say on that. So anyway, let's get started with the actual making of the thing that we're gonna make. The dress. The sand dress. That's totally not gonna go horribly wrong and turn into a dumpster fire of a creation. Okay, let's go! So because my dress form's really not feeling it, Mr. Krabs, I went ahead and used Clothe 3D to make the pattern for my mock-up which is a really fantastic program and I really love it lots. I owe a lot to this program in terms of making things that work out in the end. Although I do have to say that after entering all of my avatar's measurements into this program, the avatar kind of came out looking sort of like Sid the Sloth. Oh my god. Hello and welcome to my new cutting table. I know what you're thinking. Is that even a cutting table? To which I say, no. Yeah. No, it's not, but it's the best thing I could do that wasn't me just cutting fabric on the floor. Basically, this is just half an assembled storage unit, but you know, you gotta use what you gotta use. And I had this and so, you know what? I'm cutting on it now. It's like the perfect height for cutting on. Hi, and welcome to my new storage unit. Cutting table. I meant to say cutting table, although it is a storage unit. So after printing out the pattern from Clothes 3D and cutting it up, I went ahead and cut out the pattern pieces of the mock-up that I was going to make from some scrap pieces of fabric, pretty straightforward. Using my new table, I make one out. While I did this, uh, my cat just stared at me the whole time. Mother, it is me, your child. I wish to be free once again. I pretty promise with sugar on top this time I will not get hit by a car. And then once I'd sewn the pieces all together I could try it on and I actually had to uh, tape up the arms because the, the shoulder straps are going to be held together by ribbon like in the original. So I had to tape them up to try it on and see how everything fitted. And for the most part it was fine. It was a little bit tight. So I decided that I was going to bring out the sides by two centimeters and I was also going to raise the um, the bodice chest part up because it was giving me some serious serious cleavage and side boob issues So I was gonna basically just raise everything up higher to cover a lot more skin and make everything Just come out a little bit further at the sides The thread arrived finally it's been two weeks because of the holidays and this thread only had to go halfway across town yeah. Ugh. Anyway, back to sewing. Well, not quite sewing because I still had to cut everything out first. So that's what I'm doing here. And this is the satin that I decided to use, which is kind of like a sagey, almost mint sort of green. It's as similar to the one in the original as I could find. So I went with it. I thought it was really nice, but it really doesn't go with my skin tone at all. But let's just ignore that for now. 
So here I am just cutting out the pieces of the pattern. It might be really boring, but you know what? It's in here, so you're probably going to watch it anyway. So then I went ahead and started making the piping. Again, I had absolutely no idea what I was doing, but I kind of just yellowed it and, you know, there can only really be so many ways to make piping, right? So I thought that as long as the actual cord was sandwiched between the two pieces of fabric, that was essentially piping. So that's what I did. I went ahead and sewed it that way. And I mean, I guess it kind of worked. It looked like piping, so I just went with it. I think the cord was a bit too big in the end, but it was the only cord that I could find in my entire country. So I had to make do. And then I just had to sew the um, parts of the dress together, really, all the panels, um, which was pretty straightforward, but I knew I had a walking foot somewhere. I wanted to try and find it so I could use it. And the walking foot was super super squeaky and super super loud and it didn't really help at all but I went ahead and used it anyway because well I had it. And then I just had to basically insert the facing pieces of the bodice, turn everything inside out and give it a press and then I could go ahead and attach the piping that I had made. So now was the time to see if it actually worked. It essentially just needed to be sandwiched in between the top and the bottom parts of the dress just at the front. Very straightforward and I think it came out okay. I don't know if this is how you do piping. This kind of looks like piping. I think this is as close as I'm ever going to get anyway, so I'm pretty happy with it. And then I just had to assemble the rest of the dress, which was also pretty straightforward. And then here it is basically just missing the zip and the shoulder pieces. Yay. I got these uh, rectangle grommets and I also got circular grommets that actually have the tool wow. to cut out the things and it looks a lot easier than the last ones I tried to use. So I'm thinking maybe, maybe this, this, these ones the ones I'm going to use. This is where we are with the dress and the back has the straps which go over to the front and they will have a grommet here and a grommet here and they'll be connected with a ribbon that I am yet to sew. Okay, I think I got it. I think. I'm broke. 